Okay, just doing a quick support video here on installing the driver for the label connector bundled printer uh, that you may have uh, in your possession. So to download the driver, install the driver, um, simply uh, go to the Accuware website, go to the support page, and click on the label connector printer driver. Go ahead and initialize uh, the download for that. Um, may take you, you know a few seconds here to download that, so we'll just go ahead and proceed with that here. Um, the driver is created by uh, Seagull Scientific. Uh, we consider them a highly trusted brand name in drivers. We've been dealing with Seagull Scientific for many years. So uh, let's go ahead and just open the, and run the driver file. Okay. Accept. And it's going to create a folder on your C drive. And it's going to run the driver wizard when it finishes unpacking. And down here, uh, you have to go ahead and just allow that to make changes to your computer. Install the printer drivers. Um, it's already got the, uh, it's sensing that the printer uh, is connected to the USB port. I've already got it connected on my end. Just go ahead with that. You can name it anything you want press finish it's going to go ahead and install the driver uh, and that's completed um, let's just take a quick look at a couple things in the driver just uh, when you're working with a uh, label connector it's very important to go into the printer properties and set the page size so for example if we want to make the page size be 4 by 3 I go to printer properties Go to the Advanced tab, go to Printing Defaults, okay, and you can create a new stock size. Um, you can call this like, we'll call it 4x3. Um, definitely a good idea to set the page size to be equal to the design size you're going to use in label connectors. So whatever size labels you've got, create you know that stock size. Also, under dithering, make sure dithering set to none. That'll improve the print quality. And press apply. Okay. And I also check under general um, to just make sure that, that that has inherited over. And you can see here in this case, uh, it actually didn't. So let's go ahead and select the 4x3 that we created. And dithering is set to none. So that's been set. You can even double check in here under preferences uh, to make sure that the page size is set to 4 by 3 and it is. Um, so now you've got everything prepared. You've got your driver installed. You've got your page size set. All you have to do is do your label designing in label connector to set up your, in this case, your 4 by 3 label template. Thank you.